The flames flicked up around the building. Is everyone okay? A beautiful orange dragon spoke. Yes, replied another voice, but before he could say much more, a scream came from the building. Help me, an elderly dragon shrieked. The flames climbed as the flames climbed higher up the old brown building. The beautiful Skyrim glanced at her partner before diving into the flames. The heat was creeping into the building as she searched. Help! Help! Please! Help! The elderly dragon's voice was a lot louder now. Arson darted up the stairs to see an elderly yellow Skyrim curled up in a ball. Are you okay? She called. The elderly dragon held out a talon which was partially burnt but said, I'm okay. I'm fine. Okay, good. What's your name? Hawk, he replied. Okay, Hawk. We're going to go back down the stairs and out the front door. Oh, I'm Arson, by the way. She instructed, reaching out a wing for his support. Okay, Hawk whispered back faintly as they ran down the stairs. Just through there, Arson whispered as Hawk hobbled as fast as he could. Arson followed until a pitch black cat with soulless white eyes appeared. Move, she cried, but the cat stayed put. Arson, the faint but familiar voice of her best friend called out to her. Arson, get out, he repeated. Move, she shrieked once more to the cat, but it stayed still. At this point, her wings and tail were burning, so she ran. As she ran, the cat flickered, like light being poured over a shadow. Arson looked back to the cat. It was gone. She could still hear the faint voice of her friend as she stood in the doorway to the exit, but she couldn't move. Even in the flames, she felt like ice. She finally snapped out of it when she heard a deafening creak. Unbearable pain was shooting through her as she heard the sh terrified screeches of her best friend. Arson! Arson, get up! But they got quieter and quieter and quieter as everything faded to black. As Arson woke up, everything felt different. She was in a beautiful palace resting on the clouds. She walked up and through the stunning palace and along the long hallway leading to the throne room. Welcome, Arson, a light but strong voice said. Arson looked up to see the goddess of eternal youth, Hebe. She too was a Skyrim with, stunny, with stunning deep reds and gems implanted on her tail. Your strength and courage is admirable, so the other gods and goddesses have decided to make you one of us. Arson looked up speechless. As the stunning goddess strided towards her, she gently touched snouts with Arson and said, I, Hebe, goddess of eternal youth, make Arson goddess of fire, courage, and beauty. Hebe strided back to her beautiful throne. Arson looked up and could barely get out the words, thank you, Hebe. Suddenly the room started spinning as everything was fit fading back to black. She could just hear Hebe's final words. Use your powers wisely, Arson. Make lives better. Once again, Arson woke up. Was that just a strange dream, she thought, as she looked down? It couldn't be. She now had brown shoulder blades with gold engraved fire symbols in them and a fire symbol on her right back leg. Arson got up and started walking. She didn't know where it, where she was going. She was ju it was just like she knew where to go. As time crept on, she felt more and more eyes on her until she finally saw lots of gleaming soulless eyes, just like the ones she saw before she died. She kept walking, however, feeling unbothered by them. Now she knew what they were for. They, all, they were watchers from the gods, making sure she was fulfilling her job. Arson's legs kept guiding her until she reached a big fire in the woods, the tall dark trees being climbed by the flames. As she inspected, she noticed there was a dragon inside, a mudwing to be specific. Without thinking, she ran through the fire, but nothing. She could no longer be burnt. She saved the mudwing and continued on her journey. And she... 
and she realized her full potential, saving dragons from fires. She didn't care about the burden of the shadow cats she carried with it. She was a goddess. And that's arson. To summarize, she started off as a firefighter with her best friend, who you can name, until she tried to save Hawk, but was crushed by a beam in the doorway whilst being distracted by the shadow cats. She was then made a goddess to save other dragons from f- her fate, but she is still followed by the whole pack of shadow cats. Okay, now on to the important part, how to adopt. All you need to do is answer this riddle question thing. I'm going to the moon and I'm bringing a flower. But there are a f- few things I'd like you guys to know before you enter to adopt her. If you claimed last month or the months before that, you cannot claim her or adopt. Two guesses per day. There will be a hint in the pinned comment. Just a, And just one more note. Before I go, please do not adopt her if you are not going to use her. I am really proud of her and her story and I don't want it to go to waste. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and have a great day or night. Bye. Empty hearts and neon lights. The playing with my mind. Gotta get out of fear tonight. Oh, I want.